about two weeks ago, I had my body composition assessed with DEXA. Now, DEXA stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry, which basically means that X-rays are used to determine the amounts of lean, bone, and fat mass. So with that in mind, what's my data? So DEXA breaks it down by region, the amount of fat, lean, and bone mineral content in the left and right arms, in the trunk, left and right leg, the subtotal of all that, and then in the head, and then the overall total for all of those regions. And then going across the columns from left to right, we see we've got fat mass, lean plus bone mineral content, BMC, and then the total of fat mass, lean, and bone mineral content as shown there. So I have about 70 kilograms of uh, total fat, lean, and bone mineral content. And what I wanna point out real quick is the disparity between the listed weight at the top, 68 kilograms, and the 71 kilograms at the bottom, bottom under the total. Now, the 68 kilograms was my fasting uh, weight first thing in the morning. So, uh, without clothes on, so that's the most close to being accurate. Whereas the total that was given by DEXA uh, includes the, you know, probably undigested food and I, I was also fully clothed. So that's the three kg disparity that we can see there. And then last but not least, we've got the percent fat in the right column. So then breaking it down, I have about 9.2 kilograms of total fat, which when divided by the total amount of fat, lean and bone mineral content altogether, yields a body fat percentage of 12.9%. Now we can also break down lean plus bone mineral content. So I have about 62.8 kilograms of that. And then on page two of this document was the bone mineral content, again, BMC. And DEXA also breaks it down by region. So left and right arm, the ribs, the spine, pelvis, left and right leg, and then the total in terms of bone mineral content for all of those regions and also the head. So when taking the sum of all those regions for BMC, I have about 2.5 five kilograms of bone mineral content. And then we can calculate lean mass by subtracting 61.8 minus 2.47 kilograms, which yields a lean mass, a total whole body lean mass of about 59 kilograms or 131 pounds. Now this is far from uh, all being muscle mass and that's because lean mass as measured by DEXA equals muscle mass, but also organ weights. And most of that is water aside from the organ weights. Now going forward, the goal, at least in terms of aging, is can I maintain or improve lean plus bone mineral content as both of those decline during aging while reducing fat mass, which increases during aging. So my plan is to measure again sometime in the next year, maybe a little bit longer, up to about 18 months, and we'll see how I've improved or not uh, in the next video. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, uh, at-home blood testing, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in that, that link will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.